Hi, this is Cynthia Thomas. I'm a networking specialist at Google Cloud. Welcome back to What's New in Networking. Today, we're going to talk about Anthos and compute networking launches. So stay tuned. Let's start with Kubernetes. As more enterprises adopt Kubernetes, new requirements are coming up around multi-cloud, security, and visibility. And new technologies like Service Mesh demand more customizations of the underlying Kubernetes layer. These requirements all need a more programmable data plane that can do Kubernetes-aware networking without sacrificing performance. I'm pleased to introduce to you Data Plane V2. Data Plane V2 is an opinionated data plane for GKE and Anthos clusters, and it's been optimized for Kubernetes networking. Data Plane V2 is implemented with eBPF, Extended Berkeley Packet Filter. This handles network packets in the kernel by configuring the data plane using Kubernetes-specific metadata. Data Plane V2 brings several advantages to your deployments. From a security and operations perspective, you have native Kubernetes network policy and logging without the need for a third-party add-on. Network policy logging lets you monitor how your policies are enforcing traffic. That way, you can see allowed and denied network connections in the cloud logging console to audit and troubleshoot policies. Data Plane V2 also lends well to large environments for scale without the need for a queue proxy nor IP tables for service routing. Finally, the big thing Data Plane V2 brings to your multifaceted environments is consistency across environment types, GKE, Anthos vSphere, and Anthos on bare metal. With Data Plane V2, you can quickly identify abnormal traffic patterns and spot irregular network activity. Finally, let's talk about Google Virtual NIC, or GVNIC for short. It's a virtual network interface designed specifically for Google Compute Engine. Previously, VMs that ran on Compute Engine used a virtual network interface based on the VIRT I.O. spec. For better networking performance and to support additional features, Google uses GVNIC as its default virtual network interface. GVNIC supports higher network bandwidths, such as 50 to 100 gigabits a second. These can be used for distributed workloads on VMs that have attached GPUs. If you want to use GVNIX, you can use it on a supported OS or on an unsupported OS by manually installing the drivers for Linux or Windows. And that's our update for Anthos and Compute Networking. Check out the links below for more details on these new features. Join us next time for What's New in Networking.